on to news of the BCCI and cricket administration. Roger Binney will formally become the first World Cup champion to be the president of the Board of Control for Cricket of India in India, BCCI, today during the 91st annual general meeting. A sort of Gangli, the outgoing BCCI president, arrived at the Taj Hotel in Mumbai along with Roger Binney and former IPL chairman Rajiv Shukla for the AGM of the BCCI. The AGM is on the fore with essential decisions, including the office bearer of the BCCI, Women's IPL and other decisions. Uh, Binny is the president of the Karnataka State Cricket Association and will take over the reins uh, from Ganguly. Jay Shah will be re-inducted as the BCCI secretary, while Rajiv Shukla will be the vice president. The BCCI election results will be formally announced uh, during this AGM, uh, while all posts have been decided and contested. The AGM though may witness some discussion while finalizing the BCCI's representative to the International Cricket Cricket Council. So, will India field a candidate for the ICC or will we back a uh, Greg Barkley? Sources say that Anurag Thakur and N. Srinivasan's names have been discussed as candidates uh, for the ICC. So, let's go across uh, to Rika now for more details. So, we, Rika, they've all arrived. They sort of Ganglis arrived for the meeting. Tell us more about some of the key decisions that are to be taken and what is a foregone thing is that Roger Bini is going to take over from sort of Ganguly. Absolutely, it is game, set and match at BCCI. Uh, there would be no elections. In fact, uh, Saurabh Ganguly is going to do a ceremonial handover to Roger Binney. Saurabh Ganguly wanted to contest in the elections, but he was told by the members that uh, um, you know they don't want him to contest. And he contested Roger Binney. Wouldn't have uh, come into the picture. He said that he wanted only to come into the picture when there was no election. So as of now, we know that Roger Binney is going to be elected as the president. The meeting is, of course, on. Um, Jay Shah will be re-inducted as, as the secretary of the cricket board. Uh, the treasurer, uh, Arun Dhumal, he moves on as the chairman of uh, IPL. And there will be a new treasurer of uh, BCCI, Ashish Shelar. Apart from that, Rajiv Shukla, the congressman, he will become BCCI's vice Vice President. So, um, as we talk about, you know, removing um, uh, politics from sport, the more we talk about it, the more it seems that everything is intertwined with uh, politics is intertwined with sport. There are several of these key men who are either politicians, uh, very powerful politicians, or are politically connected. Uh, so, BCCI right now, the chief will be the only one in the panel, in that all-powerful panel, who will not be politically connected or from a political background. Apart from that, the entire panel is political. But apart from that, Gargi, the uh, interesting decision that we are all waiting for is who from BCCI goes to ICC. Now, uh, BCCI has struck down the idea of sending, down, sending Saurav Ganguly across. Who are the people uh, being talked about right now? The two are N. Srinivasan and Anurag Thakur. Of course, it is to be seen whether the BCCI members now want to challenge Greg Barclay, who is the current incumbent in ICC, who is the ICC chairman, who, has, who can come back for two more years. Remember, his term ends in November and he can be re-elected for two more years. So it is to be seen whether BCCI wants to go that far and challenge Greg Barclay at this moment. If they do, then uh, two candidates are being talked about, N. Srinivasan and Anurag Thakur. If they don't, there's also a question of who's going to represent India in the ICC. So this is a, a, a key decision that is to be had uh, during the meeting. Apart from that, we will also perhaps hear uh, the final announcement about the starting of women's IPL sometime in March next year.